first before we're supposed to be packing up the car and going back home. So um, that shows something about his character, his stick to it miss, and, uh, and, a, and a job well done. So Keith, I salute you in, in all your accomplishments. And if you want other stories, trust me, I've got a bunch of them. So you can see me at the reception after this. Um, for Harry, Harry's a little bit Harry's a little bit different um, in, in, in all the good ways when I say that. Um, and you'll see on the back of your programs, Harry does talk about the Braves of Black Hawk. And we were up at Black at Camp Black Hawk, which is a section camp up at the Wasabi Scout Reservation. And for those of you not familiar with it, the Wasabi is 4,700 big acres. Um, uh, and the Braves of Black Hawk was designed to test older boys to see if they could uh, uh, time management, fortitude and a number of other things that, uh, that they could do. So during the course of the week, Harry had to invite staff members into camp and he had to, he had to put on a campfire. He basically had to put on a show. And um, he also had to make sure that he was cooking for people and he had to do a camp improvement project. And he had to hike over to another campground and he had to find some guy that he didn't know and you know basically do the secret handshake and get all this other stuff and then send him back on his way. And one of the other things that uh, he had to do, you had to pick two nights, and you had to sleep two nights consecutively under the stars. And Harry, I noticed on the back of the program we talked about that. And um, so you, yeah, it's two nights consecutively, so you can't cherry pick in case it rains or not. And you don't sleep with a tent. And Harry was out there, and he was camping, and Mr. Travelis woke up in the middle of the night. And uh, he's one of our adult leaders here for the volunteer. He went walking over to check out on Harry, and just to make sure nobody took him. And uh, how are we going to explain that? And, um, and as he walked over to the clearing that, that Harry was at, he noticed that there was a deer standing maybe 10 feet away from Harry. Harry's sound asleep, and the deer was look, almost looking over him. Mr. Trapless makes his way back to the camp, campsite as quickly as possible, wakes me up, thank you. <laughs> and uh, so that I can corroborate the story. And, and sure as shoot, there's the deer standing in the middle of the clearing, and he looks like he's looking over here. Um, Harry was, uh, first off, there were probably 400 kids in camp that week. 12 started uh, that, started out going for the Brave of Black Hawks, so only 12 out of the 400. Harry was the only one to finish. Harry was the only one to hit the mark, so to speak. That week, and for that summer, I believe there were only yeah, I watch, I know there were only six boys who were able to, to complete all the tasks. So, um, although every once in a while Harry may procrastinate, um, <laughs> he is able to deliver. He is, uh, and he's a very responsible uh, young man, and, and for that I salute him. And again, I have a number of other stories that you'd like to hear about Harry. I'd be happy to share with you, but we can do that over the reception. Uh, one of them involving Harry and Keith would be a new trip that we took, uh, where I believe they ended up going backwards down, down, down the river for a short period of time. But again, we can talk about that, that later. Um, so I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave you with uh, with some words that uh, Faith and Paul said. The ultimate objective is to breed manly men for our respective countries. Strong in body, mind, and spirit, men who can be trusted, men who can face hard work and also hard times, men who can make up their own minds and not be led by mass suggestion, men who are not afraid or unwilling to sacrifice for the greater good. And hopefully, as Mr. Kramer uh, told you, uh, now that you've achieved the, the rank of eagle, um, those are the things that you have to keep in mind, uh, the giving back, Kind of walk on the straight and narrow. It, it, it's a heavier burden than, than you may than you may imagine. So uh, with that, I commend both of you and uh, and ask everybody to give you a, a quick round of applause.
responsibilities of the Eagle Ring to our new campaign. Good afternoon. I have the honor to give you the Eagle Charge on the occasion of your elevation to the highest rank in Scotland. The Boy Scouts of all nations constitute one of the most wholesome and significant influences in the world's history. You have been counted worthy of this high rank. All who know you rejoice in your achievement. As you live up to your obligation, you do bring honor to yourself and your fellow Scouts. Your responsibility extends to your country and your God. America has many good things to give you and your children after you. These good things depend, on, for the most part, on our, the ability of our citizens. Our country has a great past, and you can make the future greater. I charge you to undertake your citizenship with solemn dedication. Be a leader, but only lead towards the best. Lift up every task you do and every office you hold to the high level of service to God and your fellow man. So live and serve that those who know you will be inspired to the finest of them. We have too many who use their strengths and their brains to exploit others to gain selfish ends. I charge you to be among those who dedicate their hearts and hands to common good. Build America on a solid foundation of clean living, honest work, unselfish citizenship, and reverence for God. Then, whatever others may do, you will leave behind you a record of which you may be justly proud. Eagle Scout candidates Keith Ryan and Kerry Budge, I charge you to enter the Eagle Scout Brotherhood, holding without reservation, even before you, the ideas of honor and service. By repetition of the Eagle Scout promise before your fellow Scouts, you will become an Eagle Scout. Through the words you may use may be similar to those which you first joined Scouting. Today they will mean more than they have ever met in your past. When you pledge yourself on your sacred honor, you will be sealing your eternal loyalty to the code of the Eagle Scout with the words which close the Declaration of Independence. Will all Eagle Scouts present today join Keith, Harry, and me as I administer the Eagle Scout Prize? Master Jeff Malarski, please come forward and present the Eagle Award. By the, by the virtue of the authority vested in me in the National Council, 
Council of Boy Scouts of America. I hereby award the rank of Eagle Scout to you, Keith and Harry. So if you could, please pin the uh, medal. No one will ever know the unnumbered acts of self-sacrifice and helpfulness of the mother of the Little Scout, which has led to this afternoon. As a symbol of what his mother has made possible, this court now asks Keith and Harry to present his mother the miniature eagle. It says in the script here, or I think I'm going to put this in. Uh, the Eagle Scout, it's customary that you give your mother a, uh, an eagle kiss on the cheek. <laughs> 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 We can read them after. We'll yeah, we'll read yeah. the reception. Sorry. No, it's okay. We're <laughs> behind the rank of Eagle Scout is the practice of leadership. 